There we go. Be right back. All right, here's the 2020 CVO Street Glide. I can already tell you right now, that shifter is in a weird position. But this is the CVO and it, it'll go. 2020. I'm gonna have to use the heel shifter just because that shifter is in an odd, odd place. Gotta get used to that. But this is a 117 engines, 2020. I like it. Once again, Smith Brothers, Harley Davidson up in Johnson City, Tennessee doing demo days during their hog rally. Uh, I'm having a little break from work. Take my lunch break to test drive a couple of the 2020s. See how they feel. Now I remember this curve and I'm gonna take it a little slower than I did on the Lowrider S. Ooh, this has got a trunk on the back. I'm not used to it. You can kind of see it in the mirror, I think. Golly, that shifter. I'll be honest, I'm not big on the shifter feel. The fairing's not bad. I didn't know of riding the road glide as long as I have. Yeah, why don't you use your side of the road? Yeah, that's interesting. Rescue truck. Um, if if the fairing would be a weird adjustment, yeah, heel shifter's better. Uh, it's not. You can. I mean, there, yes, there's a little weight on it, but it's not like, oh my god, there's so much weight on my handlebars. I can't do this. Because that's how people talk when things feel weird on the motorcycle. All right, we'll test the same thing again. We're at low revs in third. All right, so this is the Milwaukee 8, talking about the low, the, the high power in the low revs range, third gear, gone. Already up to 50. In a 50, that doesn't say 30, ignore that. If you haven't ridden with a trunk before, it just kind of feels like you have a passenger on your bike. It's not a big deal. Uh, the blue is pretty. This is very similar to my, this actually might be superior blue, like my Road Glide, but I like it. I still like my Road Glide fairing better. Um, I like everything being farther away. This is, has got everything like right in my face. But that's, that's not something that's an issue with most people. Let me re reiterate that I'm a, a tall guy. I'm a bigger tall guy. If you were shorter and you're not as big or hefty, this would be fine. I mean, I'm comfortable with it. I'm just used to my road glide being way out far. This isn't a bash on the street glide, ultra limited, whatever um, style fairing, the bat wing fairing. That's what I'm getting at. It's just me saying it's not something I'm used to. But I, I would rather have, like right now, to look at the radio, I gotta look down. Most people don't have to do that. To me, for me, I do. I tell you one thing, the Harley Davidson keeps hooking, the, the emblem keeps hooking on my jeans. <laughs> And most people's legs aren't going to be up there on the bike. This CVO motor, though. Mm, 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 mm. Beautimous. There's 
the pretty river again. River, river, river. Good job, Zeke. You know, 2020 Ultra Limited CBO. I like it, man. Power. That made a lot of sense. Power. Yeah. Way to put a complete sentence together, Zeke. I think because of all the weight, like this definitely has power, right? But all the weight difference compared to that lowrider S I was just on is definitely making a difference in the get up and go part. Not to mention there's a boat in front of us going very slow. I heard a Harley clunk on a Milwaukee 8 CBO, but I love the Harley clunk. I just noticed something. The floorboards have a weird little give to them. Oh yeah, that's good. Got that oomph. These 2020 CVOs, <laughs> I say that like I've ridden a lot of them. This 2020 CVO, first one I've ridden, 117 cubic inches, a ton of power. I don't know what the horsepower and torque is. I guess I'll put it here somewhere once I find out for sure. Uh, but you can definitely feel it. Like I took off out of that uh, left turn pretty damn fast. But, like a lot of people have said, Traveling Tall, my buddy, if you haven't seen his channel yet, go to Traveling Tall on YouTube. He's got some great stuff. He's another tall guy. He's 6'5". I'm taller. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah, I love that guy. Uh, but he was saying that there's no open and close on this vent. Why they changed that, I have no idea. Because on my road glide, the 2016, the vents that are down here, when they're open and it's raining, it's a it's a freaking whirlwind of rain in your face. Okay, it's not that bad, but yeah, you can close them and you get less rain in your face and in this whole area here. I don't know if the street glides were the same with the tall, I mean with the top vent. Oh, what I was saying when I came to a stop, um, the floorboards feel a little flimsy on the right side compared to mine. A lot of times with styling, this is in any industry, uh, when people start to make things more sleeker and uh, aerodynamic, they cut off some of the heft and that's kind of what these look like. I'll try to get a video of them. But um, and they feel a little flimsy. Like I'm pushing on the right right now and it feels like it's bending down a little. Could be somebody who stood up on it during all the demos because this is their demo model. I like it though. I just love the Road Glide better. I mean, once you've fallen in love with the Road Glide, you've fallen in love with the Road Glide. The, a lot of people say how you can feel wind on the fairing a little bit more. Yeah, you can, but it feels like butterfly kisses. Jeez, it's not bad. It doesn't whip you around. Some people say that it's not doing that. I can definitely feel the effect of the wind on the fairing and the handlebars. Yes, but is it a fact that it's dangerous? Not in the slightest. You just feel a little bit of, you know, almost like buffeting, light buffeting on your hands where the wind's kind of pushing it a little bit. It's not anything. Like, if you think that and you trust people that say that, go and test drive one and feel that it's not that bad. Now, the Road Glide, I don't feel that at all. No, not in the slightest. But, I do feel it on the Street Glide. But, it's not 
horrible. So chill with all your street glide hate with the wind on the fairing. So that's that. The 2020 Ultra Limited CVO. Bat wing fairing, not too bad. For a taller guy, you may or may not like it up in your face like this. Traveling tall, he has a street glide. So, I mean, he doesn't mind it. I probably wouldn't mind it, but once you get used to just being able to look down with your eyes, but now I have to look down with my whole head, that's the big difference there. So yeah, I like it. Would I get one? Eh, no, nah, I'm a rogue guy.